So I recently got my NX12 install and I just want to do a quick little overview. You can see that uh, a lot of customizations for icons this is uh, not out of the box, but this is the way I like to look at it. A lot of neat things going on here. You can see now we have uh, little tabs at the top of the screen for your various parts. So if I go in there and say uh, File New, Create a New Part, and you can see there's my Model 1, there's my Model 2. If I create a sketch, select OK, and we'll go like this. Finish that sketch. Do a quick extrude. Now if I switch back over to Model 1, you can see it is a completely different model. Quick switching between these files is really nice. You can see I also have a little highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and make another sketch. And uh, let's just do another rectangle. We'll go on this side. Finish that. Do another extrusion. Select OK. And as you can see, beautiful. Um, if I double click on this, pretty much everything works the same as it did before. Again, I have some customizations on mine that uh, you probably won't have out of the box. But uh, if I go back into the sketch, you can see I have uh, these dimensions in here. Then uh, the, the look of the dimension is different. The way they uh, act is basically the same. It's kind of nice. So for this, uh, let's say 10. And for this, I'll go 5. And as you go through and you add the constraints, auto constraints basically work the same. Um, something else that I really like about uh, what they've done with the sketch is uh, once I enter into the task, sketch task environment, let me go in and say, there we go. You have a new uh, relationship browser. This was introduced in 11, but uh, I really like it. I haven't had a chance to talk about it. Uh, this is the show remove constraints. It's nice because you can really see how things are basically put together. And then I can come over the top of that constraint and see the two lines that it's associated with out here. And then I can also right mouse click on that. I can say browse to. shows me just that independent uh, constraint. I can delete the constraint if I want. Let me go ahead and close that. Now uh, you can see those two are broken. But in classic NX fashion, if I drag that back together again, it goes back together again. Really good stuff. I'm, I'm really a big fan of the relationship uh, relations browser, as you as it's called. Uh, let me go back, finish my sketch. Uh, as far as the basic functionality of most tools, again, uh, the same. Okay, there's my other part. Let me go ahead and change the color of this. And uh, that way we can differentiate the two. There we go. Now I'm going to go into my assemblies. And for this, I'm just going to simply go, uh, let's see, do I want to create a new or create a new parent? Let me create a new parent and select OK. So now that's in there. I'm going to add a component. I'm going to add that in. And uh, just say absolute. I'll just say WCS. Select OK. So now there's my component. So working quickly is really nice. Another thing that you can do um, with your windows is you have different configurations. So maybe I want to see uh, tab groups. If I do something like that, you'll see um, there's my assembly. There's my model one. If I come back in and I say uh, three tab groups, there's my model one model 2, here's my assembly. So this kind of thing is really, really nice. What's also great about this is if I come over here in this window and I start working, you'll notice that at the assembly level over here, it's showing me what's going on. So once I select OK, there it is. So it's nice. It shows you right over here, model 2 in part assembly is my work part. And if I want to, I can maximize this and bring that up. And, and, and switch between the two. Now you'll notice the tabs are gone because I did maximize it. If I come over here and do a restore, this is going to take me back to uh, the, that, that condition of having my separate windows. So these tabs, this is a float tab, I can say float all, and if I float, this allows me to take these now and move these around and put them where I want and organize them in said fashion. Really powerful stuff. Again, if I maximize that, you can see, in this case, I'm looking at all of these. So if I need to, once again, I can double click on something. I can make some quick modifications and so on. 
me uh, shrink that back down. So I'm going to go back over to Window, and in this case, I just want uh, one tabbed group. Actually, let me reset my layout. So bring that back in. And these tabs are nice because you can organize them the way that you want. Um, other things that I really like, interface changes, I think are absolutely brilliant. So if I want to do a, a fit, if I come into an area where there's dead space and double click with my first mouse button, you'll see it fits the part in. Another thing that I'm very happy about, I'm really excited about this because it makes life a lot easier. If I come in here and pick something, in the olden days if I wanted to deselect it, I'd have to hit the escape key or hold the shift key and deselect it. Now, if I just click out in space, single click, it deselects everything. So some of these uh, user interfaces that they've uh, changed in NX12, I think really, really do a nice job. Um, and again, uh, this user interface that I have set up, this is my own thing that I've done. I've got my make current feature. I've got all the stuff that I have in here that I like, uh, just the way that I like. You could do this in uh, previous versions. This is the slim ribbon style. So again, that's a previous version tool that you have uh, uh, full capabilities of. Now, if I right mouse click in this, you still have all the same things that you had before. You have the make timestamp order. Turn that off. You can see the body. You have your cameras and model view and all the analysis and stuff appears in here as it once did before. Um, other nice things that we have are things that you're going to notice as you start modeling around and uh, doing things. Like, for example, uh, at the assembly level, we move this over. If I uh, double click on that assembly, same same sort of interactions. If I right mouse click on the assembly, update my structure, I can do hide, hide, show, show only. I've got my properties. So all of this stuff is still there. The menus themselves, again, the way that I have it set up, you can see it's a bit more obvious. The, the, the larger icons, easier to see. Everything is uh, iconized and uh, you got all your labels there. Um, you still have all your first mouse button functionalities. Uh, information window. Um, again, in N11, let me bring this onto my screen. In 11, they went to a an HTML base rather than just a text base. So this is really nice. You still have all the capabilities and then some uh, based off of this. They've made some uh, functionality changes under the uh, expressions as well. They've added some tools. They've updated some tools. Like if you go under Surface and under your uh, section Surface, they've updated some things, which we'll go over. I'll bring up uh, what's new in NX12 and, and talk about that. But right now I'm talking about what is uh, what sort of the interaction and how the how everything sort of looks and feels. But uh, as far as that goes, I, I got to say that they really stepped up their game in NX12, really made it... Uh, um, I, I'm going to say that they really brought it into the future as far as with the tabbed windows, um, the, the being able to go through and quickly uh, make changes to these things. Uh, as far as uh, assemblies, you know, the, the speed at which you can bring components in, um, it's, it's really nice as well. Like if I, uh, if I go into, uh, let me go into my uh, um, assemblies, and again, if I do my add component, these are some things that they've, they've added within uh, the context of uh, NX11 as well. And again, they, I think they just, they just do better, act better. Everything just seems a little bit better in NX12. So um, you can see I don't have any of the parts saved, so it doesn't show uh, the actual picture. But if I, if I toggle in between these things, you'll notice that uh, this, this uh, default icon pops up. But if I had a saved model open, it would show the actual picture of the saved model. And again, that's an NX11 en enhancement. Um, stuff like that and really did a nice job on the interface so um, more to come as I start digging into the what's new of NX12 again this is Steve with Class A Surfacing please like share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't um, if you have any questions comments leave them in the low bar below uh, I, I apologize I've been out of it for a little while I've been very very busy but now that I have my hands on 12 I definitely make a lot more time to uh, uh, to, to make videos, help answer questions, and, and get things moving. Thanks.